Gabe. It's a cave. I'm coming. Oh, there comes a mother and a baby. Just imagine that you can get so close to the rhino. Yo, look, and an owl, a snake and an owl. <laughs> Can you see those two trying to mate? <laughs> a wonderful, wonderful breakfast. The last little piece you have there is the gut. You should taste the snails. Very creepy, but nice to eat. Umpi never misses a chance to get his hands dirty. Slowly get it out. And there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of it. Have you ever seen an earthworm this long? You can really see it puffing itself up now, lifting itself because then it can bite very easily. It's a sea anemone. If you stick your finger in, you'll see what I mean. And inside they've got big teeth. <laughs> Hard dogs. Warthogs. Hard dogs. Not hard dogs. Warthogs. Plenty of close encounters. Very aggressive. She's trying to protect her. We're very safe here. It's standing up. It's walking. It's walking. It's coming. <laughs> this guy, it's bones. It's actually fossilized. It's like the size of an elephant or a dinosaur. Wow. <laughs> I love sleeping. Hello, guys, wake up. Their journey often results in new perspectives. Let's play some music on the Hoffmans and you'll hear voices from the past. <sighs> An insider's view of the work done by Sam Parks. Can you guys see how they drilled a hole in the horn and inside it they're going to put a transmitter and that transmitter lasts something like two years. Isn't it unbelievable how they, everyone kills us for this little piece of hole? Hopefully our generation will take a stand against this poaching because it's really, really sad. One option is to legalize trade in rhino horn. Maybe it will encourage people to farm with them or to breed with them and then we won't have an endangered species anymore. Being here has been an experience of a lifetime. You can just let go, see everything, feel everything, and just be yourself. This experience was something that I've never experienced before. It brought out my inner self. I got to know myself better. And I learned more to have self-confidence. learned that Richtersfeld is rich with this tangible and intangible heritage. Mountains, plants, animals, and also stories and legends. The people who made this park, they are very good people to protect our animals and nature against the bad people. These animals are not just animals of any kind. They are our pride, South Africa's pride. Hey! <laughs> Stay away from my vinyl! <laughs> Young people, I have to tell you, you must protect the nature because it's beautiful and it's special for us.